In this video, we're going to talk about independent and dependent variables in linear functions. Now, linear functions will always have two variables. One of these variables will be independent, while the other is called the dependent variable. Let's take, for example, the function y equals 2x minus 1. Here we have two variables. We have the variable y and the variable x. Now, commonly, x is the independent variable, which we'll talk about soon, and y is the dependent variable. So why is that? Why do we refer to one as the independent variable and one as the dependent variable? Now to illustrate this, I've got a picture of a father with his son. And I've got this because it's important to understand what the words dependent and independent mean. The father is independent. He can perform his day-to-day -day duties independent of his son. He doesn't need his son to function in life. Whereas his son is dependent on his father because he can't live day to day without a parent. So if we think back to our function y equals 2x minus 1, y being our dependent variable, just like the child being dependent, we cannot calculate y without first knowing what our x value is. It, it is dependent on whatever our x value is. So if x was, let's say, 1, y would become 2 times 1 is 2, minus 1 is 1. We required our x value in order to calculate our y value. y is dependent on x. Now in most cases, x is the independent variable and y is the dependent variable. We can't always assume that that's the case. This can change. And not only that, sometimes the pronumerals are different. You could have A, B, C, any other pronumeral here. So how do we know which one's dependent and which one's independent? Well, sometimes you've really got to read the question and think to yourself which variable depends on the other. Let's take an example. Let's say that someone gets some sort of an income from a job and that that income depends on how many hours they work. So let's do H for the number of hours they work. It might be an equation such as I equals 20H, meaning they get $20 an hour. Now, by just using a bit of common sense, you can see that income is dependent on the number of hours you work. In order to calculate income, you need to know first how many hours they worked. There are some other pointers to figure out of which one's dependent and which one's independent. For example, on a graph, the independent variable will always be on the horizontal axis and the dependent variable will always be on the vertical axis. Also, when we do a table of values, such as when you have x and y, we usually pick some x values, like negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, or 2. Notice that I picked these x values independently. I, I didn't need to know what y is when I picked these x values. But y is dependent because I can't calculate y without first checking what my x value is. Anyway, that concludes our video comparing independent and dependent variables. Remember to read the description below for a link to a workbooklet that relates to this video.